So I'm sitting and I'm thinking about how to really pull this presentation off. And I remember making a commitment to myself that I was going to be disciplined. I was going to practice. I was going to rehearse. And I did this every single day for weeks leading up to this big moment. And I had never put that kind of effort into presenting something before. I had never even thought of it as something that worthwhile. And I had a sense of pride in my consistency and my discipline. And I was really excited. The day arrives that I am to do this grand presentation and I walk out onto the stage and I remember looking out to what looked like to me thousands of people it was probably like 50 or 60 (laughs) and I froze I'm looking like I don't know why I am here where am I what is my name what was I supposed to be nothing was coming to me nothing All of that prep work flushed down the toilet. Why? Because I had never been on a stage looking out at an audience and people looking back at me and them waiting for me to do or say something. And I just panicked. So bad. It was so bad that someone had to come get me. And I made a commitment to myself that day that I would never allow myself to be in that position again. Fast forward, just out of graduate school, I'm going on my first audition and casting director says to me, I really like the way that you're reading. I like what you're doing with the character. It was a brand new show on CBS and I was reading for a lead. She says, I'm gonna bring you back for the director and the writer. I said, wow, I said, okay. My agent calls me. He says, listen, if you nail this, you're going to get your first television series. I said, really? He's like, wow. So I go back, and and there's two other actors that are up for this role. Might have been more, but I was told about two, and I knew one of them. So I go, and and I'm I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm like, okay, you know, I got here. They, They wouldn't bring me back unless they were really looking at hiring me. And I walk into the room. And it's a different room. And they're all sitting at a table. The director, the writer, and the producer, and the cast and director. And this is all happening like split second. I'm looking at the director and I'm saying to myself, oh yeah, that's the director who did such and such. I remember, I love that show. Oh man, that producer. I grew up watching this show and that. That's one of my favorite shows. I was overwhelmed by the moment. And the scene, it didn't even take place at a table. It was, so I didn't, I didn't have the wherewithal to, to really create what I, what I needed to be successful. I was just overwhelmed by all this stuff happening. And, and, and long story short, I, you know, I fucked up the audition. So <laughs> my agent calls me, he's like, they said you were great before and that you were great after. But I was like, I know, I know you don't have to tell me. I know I messed that up. And I made a commitment to myself that I would never be in that situation again. Why am I sharing this? Because there are going to be experiences that you're going to have to have in order to be better at that experience. So that was my first. So I didn't had I had no frame of reference and I needed to have that experience so I could be better prepared for the next time. A lot of times the way you play something out in your head is not the way it's going to unfold in life. And the more you learn how to align what's happening up here with what's going on out there, the greater clarity and effectiveness you can have in your communication and your connection and your ability to impart to others. And what I've learned over 20 plus years of really being a severe practitioner of this craft and this art form of communication and connection is that you have to give yourself permission to fail 
and that you have to be willing to fail forward. You have to be willing to stay embraced in your uncomfortable growth zone because that's where all the good stuff is. So one of the things that I do with my clients is I, I make sure that I position them because they don't have to go through what I went through because I know how to prepare them so that when they're in that first time dynamic, they can handle it. And that's part of the process of taking the things that I have accumulated over two plus decades and myriad experiences around the world in different settings and different dynamics and and then pouring that into individuals who wanna simply do a great presentation in front of the board or they want to do a great pitch for an ad agency, or they want to be able to do a great speech as a keynote or whatever that may, may, may be for them. So it's important, ladies and gentlemen, to position yourself for success by surrounding yourself with individuals that are outthinking you, that are positioned in a way that can help you get somewhere further faster. So part of me sharing my missteps and failures in the midst of also having great success is to help you save time, energy, effort, money, so that you can be more efficient. So just wanted to share that tidbit with you. Hope you're having a great start to your week. Happy Motivational Monday. And as we're going into the holiday, uh, excited about that as well. Hope you, Hopefully you're getting some good QT time in with your loved ones. So have an awesome and amazing rest of your day. We'll keep the conversation going. Boom.